casually sips her tea. I just want to make sure I'm not the only person that narrates their life. Hello and welcome to my vlog channel. Today's video is going to be very casual. I don't know why I was inspired to like do this like chatty sit down video, bring you guys into my room. Hello, this is my room. I know it's kind of like dark because of the walls, but like bright. I'm like dark and polar opposites. That's how my soul is. I basically just wanted to sit with you guys and talk and do my makeup. I bought a whole bunch of like cool makeup products. I'm drinking my tea. Yeah, just kind of update you guys a little bit about my life. So let's do this. So I'm gonna start off with my shirt. I'd rather be with my dog. Jupiter gets here. Oh my God, if you don't know, I got a dog in Colombia. His name is Jupiter. He's the most amazing, cutest. I love him so much. There's actually a vlog about him. I'll link it down below because it's so cute. If you wanna see just cute puppies in Colombia, just chillaxing and doing their own thing, watch that video. But Jupiter is a golden retriever. He is four months old and he will be arriving. Oh, this is the sad part. I leave for Playlist Live tomorrow with Dennis and he arrives the next day. I literally haven't seen him in a month. I'm so excited. My laundry is full of things I order off of Amazon just because I'm so excited to have him. Like, I, I'm just so happy. I've always wanted a dog. If you know anything about me, I follow more dogs on my Instagram than humans. So that should say something. There's gonna be so many videos. If you love dogs and pets, you know, um, you're gonna love those videos, I, I, I think, I suppose. All right, this is some really weird stuff I was sent. Um, this is just like sunscreen, but I have to wear sunscreen, even though I, I've never believed in this. I thought it was like, I don't know, I thought sunscreen was like bad and stuff. I still kind of think it is, but I had really bad acne and this is kind of like one of the things that's helped me to not scar as much. My skin is so sensitive. If you guys didn't know, I have eczema. So literally anytime I rub my skin or like my skin is just so sensitive. My, my face is about to turn like an oompa loompa red. So I leave for playlist tomorrow. I have not packed. I have not. I haven't done anything, really. I'm just filming right now. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, anyways. I'm filming for the vlog. I thought it would just be fun to do. And then I have to film a video later. So there's there's just a lot of stuff to do. I'm curious to know, do you guys start with your foundation first or your eye makeup first? I always start with my eye makeup first, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. If I leave for a playlist tomorrow with Dennis. I haven't done anything. My family comes over today. I have like this big ass Colombian family. Like it's kind of like my big fat Greek wedding. Have you guys ever seen that movie? But Colombian, loud and Spanish. They're watching a soccer game here and they're gonna be loud. And I got to film to pre-film for playlists and everything. So it's just, it's a lot of things to do. Did I tell you guys I got eyelash and it's called an eyelash lift. Do you see anything? No, literally this cost me. This is the sad part. I was so embarrassed to tell Dennis this what you see on my eyelash, which is nothing cost me $120. I was super inspired. I saw Chloe Morello. She did a video on like her eyelash lift. I was like, oh my God, it looks amazing. It makes your eyes look super awake. And you know, I looked into it. I wanted to get it done. I've been wanting to get eyelash extensions for like the longest time. But what happens with that is I have a lot of friends that have had like horror stories. Horror, not horror. Every time I say horror, people are like, Natalie, why are you saying horror? I'm not saying horror, I'm saying horror. Anyway, so they've had really bad horror stories, like their eyes get infected and there's really crazy pictures online. So I'm kind of scared to, to actually like commit to eyelash extensions. They only last two weeks too, so I was like, whatever. So I watched her video. She talked about her eyelash lift and I was like, oh my God, they look amazing. I just, I fell in love with it yesterday and this is what came out. My dad was so nice, but then he was in like, like inside cause he went with me. And then when we got to the car, he's like, I'm sorry, I don't see anything. And I'm like, I know, I like literally, uh, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. It's just depressing. All right, so basically what it did, I mean, there is a little bit of a difference, but I was kind of going for like a more boom look. This is like a very natural kind of difference. It just basically lifted my lashes up and I mean, I guess we'll see. They just look curled, honestly. I, I paid $120 to get my eyelashes curled, which I can just get with, yeah, okay. It's depressing. So a lot of the first people that actually started watching my videos know that I started with like makeup tutorials and I get asked a lot like what I put on my eyes and all this, you know, stuff. And honestly, I just always kind of go for the same look. I like like a creased look. These are like, this is my go-to right here. Look at these colors. 
look at these colors these are a makeup geek these are the foiled and then this is just like some mattes right here they're amazing they're gorgeous i strayed away from makeup tutorials just because i couldn't really show my personality i just felt that way all the time i just didn't have that love for it like some girls do with this vlog channel that's kind of what i want to do too i kind of want to stick back to just like i don't know if i'm in the mood to get ready i'll Turn the camera on and if you guys want to like chill with me for like the next 30 minutes all right i don't know why i'm going for such a dark look i'm just going in so i don't know what to expect at playlist i actually i'm having a collaboration with this really awesome like prankster guy his name is dennis roadie i also have a meetup which i'm super excited about because i feel more comfortable with meetups because it's like one-on-one -on -one and i get to like kind of talk to you guys a little bit more but then um, I also have like a panel and that, let me just tell you, um, I don't know, I get so nervous talking in front of crowds. It's interesting. People from high school, they're like, wait, Natalie, you're doing YouTube videos? Like you didn't even say like two words the whole year. I was like, I know, right? Like I have no idea. I'm still a very shy person, but I mean, if I have to be social and outgoing, like this is kind of like my... This is also my outlet, you know, like my creative space. It's kind of like I feel safe here. So that's kind of what I want to give off to you guys as well. Like I want you guys to come here and just relax and stuff like that. But anyways, school was not that for me at all. I really love school. I think until I hit the 11th grade of high school. Like everything just went downhill from there and let's, let me not even like get started with college. Like my first two years of college were bomb. And then my last year, I was just like, oh my God, this is so systematic. It's so monotonous. Like I feel my creativity was literally quenched. People were always depressed. And this is, you know, it's kind of sad because I wish I was the kind of person that was like, school's like an amazing environment and stuff like this. But I, I saw a lot of flaws in the educational system. And I feel like a lot of older people don't understand that because they're not going through it. But there are so many. They're always teaching you to to be an employee. Like, they never teach you in the mind to be like someone that's like, you can have your own business, you can be your own boss, you know? No, it's always like, you're working here in college to work for somebody else. I didn't like that mindset. So I can totally understand. If you're ever feeling stuck, like, within school, I'll be the first to say school isn't for everyone. And I never thought I would ever say that. I literally, I don't know, I just... I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. I'm, re I'm being really real with you guys so that you don't feel all like maybe if you're in college right now or high school taking your SATs and everybody's getting better SAT scores and everybody's so concerned and all this stuff like trust me it's gonna be okay. You'll end up finding out something amazing like you're, you'll end up doing something incredible so don't even don't even fret girl or boy don't even fret. I remember when I was taking my SATs, okay, I was like one of those students, like I had really good grades, right? Everything was bomb. And then I took my SATs and like, pfft, we're talking, people would be like, monkeys can get better score than you. I'm like, thanks. So I was taken into like this group, like what was it? I don't know, the principal, it was so serious. Honestly, it wasn't even that bad, but the principal literally sat down like 15 groups of students. They're like, you guys are amazing, you're talented, you are presidents for these clubs, like all this stuff, but you can't pass the SAT. We're gonna work on it. It was like the most intense, stressful month of my life. Dennis was helping me trying to do math and understand all these angles and geometry and I was always stressed out. I was losing hair. Like it was so stressful. I was like, and then I think back on it, I'm like, why the heck? Like honestly, they were stressing me out at 16 years old, I was, I didn't even know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know what college I wanted to go to, like nothing. And for what? Man. Okay, if you guys didn't know anything, and I've actually, I don't, I didn't know if I wanted to be open about this online, but I feel like because you guys are on my vlog channel, you're kind of seeking more truth about me. I don't know, I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I feel like if you're here, you really care about me because you kind of want to know more about my life. And so anyways, so, I've been debating about whether or not to drop out of school for the past two years, pretty much, ever since I started YouTube. And I know everyone's like, oh my god, that's so like the cliche thing to do, like what YouTuber doesn't drop out? Once you're in the YouTube world, you really see a different side of things. You understand that, oh my god, like I can be my own boss, I can do my own thing. And yes, there are people that go to school and also, uh, you know, do YouTube full time. 
me for like two well no not two years for uh, an int yeah for two years what the hell am i saying for two years literally that was me but you know what i just i i didn't feel it i would be in class and i'd literally been thinking i'd be thinking of so many video ideas i was i was fired up by youtube i wasn't fired up by school like at school i was just depressed and everything was depressing and i just felt like what i was learning there wasn't enough like i would literally go to school and then I'd be like, wow, so uninspired. I'd come home, I'd read a ton of books about like motivational speakers, um, people that have created amazing things in this world. I'd watch documentaries and that would fuel me up. So I was learning what I wanted to learn. Those are a little bit of my feelings on school. If you feel that way, don't feel bad. Don't feel like you're committing a sin. Sometimes I was like, oh my God, like I don't get it. Like this was supposed to be my future. Like I was a good girl and now I feel kind of rebellious, but at the same time, I'm not. Like, my parents are totally for me not being in school this semester. Um, maybe I'll go back. Maybe I won't, you know? They've been very supportive of me. I'm not slacking off. Like, I'm not at home sleeping on my butt. I'm literally doing phone calls. I'm at meetings all the time. I'm flying out to different places, networking and collabing and doing different things. Like, things that perhaps you guys don't see behind the scenes, but, like, I'm doing. And YouTube can be stressful, you know? Sometimes... The hard part about YouTube is like you don't realize that you need to get out sometimes. I'm literally in my house like 24-7. I actually started to get this really horrible fear of like going out, which was like that's another story. But um, one of the reasons why I'm so excited to get Jupiter is because sometimes I just feel so enclosed in my own mind, which is like my space and filming and working and doing things for YouTube and trying to come up with like the next best thing and like all this stuff, you know, that you get when you work. One second, please. Hello? Hola, lindo, que más? Okay, chao, gracias, bye. My lovely deity. I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, honestly, like what I need from my job or YouTube is I need to distract my mind, right? So like, I feel like, I don't know, I've always wanted a pet. I've had a pet before, but I've had hamsters in the past two years and they've died and I laugh about it now but I cried so much honestly I get so attached to animals and hamsters are just the kind of pet that they're so cute they're so fluffy and adorable and they understand they really do I mean I had a hamster that that girl was smart and we synced and she'd get pissed at me and I get you know like it was it was a weird relationship I know but anyways um Hamsters are just the kind of animal that don't last very long, so that really depressed me. So I'm super happy to just have a dog. I'm just, I'm, I'm on cloud nine, literally. And I mean that in the non-drug way. I'm not the kind of person that can talk when I do my eyeliner, so a moment of silence, please. So today I actually get my hair cut, and I'm the kind of person that, I wouldn't want to say boring, but I literally, I want to say consistent. I've had the same hairstyle since like I was like in seventh grade, or like, I've also had clothes since I was like in seventh grade. It's the sad reality, people. I've, I kind of know. I kind of want to go for a change. I'm tired of this long hair. A lot of you don't know how long my hair is because you don't see, you don't see the bottom of my of my hair. But that's how long my hair is. And yes, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired of this longness. I just wanted to get, what the? Anyways, I've always wanted to get low lights. Like, low lights are like highlights, but not as like. Whew, they're just kind of like subliminally in your hair. So like brown, caramel, low lights or whatever. But my hair, I'm so low maintenance with my stuff that I'm just like, do I really want to go in? Do I want to take the plunge? So I bought this voluminous L'Oreal, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous. The I was supposed to get, not this one, but whatever. This was the only one they had. I've heard this is like a bomb mascara. I used to have it and I think I didn't love it just because like there was so much fallout. But... I'm giving it a second go because I was watching like Jaclyn Hill and like Kathleen Lights and they have really recommended this and I trust their input basically. So I'm curious to know what else you guys would like to see on the vlog because basically we're doing this for you guys because I mean actually the vlog is really fulfilling for Dennis like he loves you know getting really nice shots and like sharing stuff with you guys but for me also I think it's more like therapeutical just because I don't know, have you ever, have you guys ever tried talking to yourselves? Like this, what I'm doing right now, I'm pretending to talk to you, but really, take everything away, I'm talking to myself, I'm a crazy person, but you'd be surprised how therapeutical that is, just to like, 
don't know, be not in your own thoughts, but talk out loud to yourself. It's so great. So tomorrow, flying to DC, Washington. It's gonna be my first time there. I'm super excited. Uh, the trip is two hours. That's not bad at all. Cause every time I go to LA, I'm like, it's like a five and a half hour trip from where I am. And DC, that doesn't seem bad at all. Dennis really wanted to take the drone to get like awesome shots, but they don't allow it there, so. And that makes sense, so yeah, we can't. I didn't know how dangerous drones were until Dennis told me that Enrique Iglesias, do you guys know that like pop Spanish singer? He got his finger chopped off by a drone. Somebody was like flying it at his concert and he like reached out to grab the drone and then like the guy was trying to get a shot where he like he came in and out and then it tilted, the drone tilted and chopped off his finger. So the tea that I'm drinking right now is called Roasted Dandelion. Yeah, that's what it is. It's organic roasted dandelion. It smells so, so good. It like, yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's divine. I feel so bad because this is the time that Dennis and me would usually be talking because he's headed to school and he loves talking to me anytime he's like in the car, which my dad's like, that's so bad, Natalie. And I'm like, I know, but I just can't help it. Like, it's kind of like our time to talk throughout the day. And so right now I'm filming. So I was like, I can't really talk to you. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. Ew. Okay, does it ever happen that you guys talk and like you have those like strings of hair, those strings of spit, just like connecting from the top to the bottom? Does that ever happen to you? I once had the substitute, oh my God, I felt so bad. Everybody made fun of him and nobody would tell him the whole day, okay? Since the morning, everybody was like, oh, just staring at his lip. He had this big, like big ball of spit. It was white, like that's how big it was right here and all it would do throughout the whole day is connect itself it would go up and down up and down literally throughout the whole class we were like all right this is always so weird no matter what color i get it's always too light for my forehead i don't know what to do i literally don't know what to do it's really tough to get foundation like if you guys don't wear foundation don't get into it it's just i don't know i think natural skin is so beautiful but because I had really, really bad acne. You guys don't even know. I had such bad acne. I, I did everything. I took like pills. I got facials. I got like these horrible injections. It was so painful. I'd always come out crying. And so I'm gonna try the Naked Skin Urban Decay um, concealer. I've heard this is like so bomb. I've seen so many people use it. Oh, actually, I just used it on my eyelids, but I've never used it below my eyes. I feel like this is just honestly an additional step. Like, do I really need this? Yes, I stay up and stuff, but it's just for fun. It's just to be a part of the makeup world. <laughs> Archie's Brushes like sent me, like they're such a nice company. They sent me um, another like really big, beautiful, just luxurious looking um, brush and it was just like a palm brush so like you could hold it it was so pretty and my grandma was like looking at it she came from Colombia and she was just like staring it down and I was like I, I got it from the mail and I was like look grandma I have something for you and she was like oh my god thank you gracias mamita like in Spanish I was like of course because I mean I don't know I just think it's really nice to give to people that Perhaps we'll never get to experience that. Like, I know I'll probably get to, I don't know, like, this stuff doesn't matter to me, honestly. I don't really uh, care too much for materials. I've never been that kind of way. It's just, I don't know, it's never been the way I roll. And so, if I can make, like, someone happy like that and just give them stuff, like, I get sent makeup products all the time. And like I said, like, how many eyebrow things can I have? You know, how many mascaras can I have? Like, I share it with so many of my family Friends. That right there is full of makeup and things that I haven't even touched, like unopened things. It's wild. All right, now I'm gonna go in with uh, Benefits Hula, Hula Bronzer, Hula 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 Hula, rocking everywhere. Rockin everywhere. I love this brush because I'm not the kind of person that I don't like a precise line for contour like I like it to look super natural and just kind of like oh your face is just kind of bronze there I just think it looks a little more natural like that for myself so I love this fluffy brush because it's just so fat 
Then I'm going to go in with Becca and Opal. I've been dying to buy Ka uh, Kathleen Lights. Um, what's what's the name? Jaclyn Hills Champagne Pop. But the only reason why I don't buy it is because I have st I still have a lot of this, even though I okay let's okay I'm cheap, but I hit pan pretty much a long time ago. But I still have the corners, and this is a great. This is a wonderful. Uh, highlighter. I don't think I need more than this honestly and I've also heard that um, Champagne pop is a little bit better for fair skin tones and since I'm a little bit more on the Tan side. I don't know what that will look like, but I've been dying to try it. I love highlighting my brow bone It's just like what I love. I love to do that. I don't know why highlighting is everything Like the first time I used foundation. I was like, oh, that's foundation the first time I used concealer I was like, oh, that's concealer, but the first time I used highlight I was like dang that's that's a highlight, you know? I've had this for too many years. Like, do you know makeup expires? And there's actually a little thing in the back that kind of looks like a little cup and it, with the lid out and it says, um, it should say a number. So this one says 24 months. I have had this for longer. Now I gotta get out of here. This is, this is torture. Okay. By the way, I'm wearing pajama pants because what YouTuber doesn't? Hala. I bought this lip liner by Urban Decay. It's a 24 hour glide on and it reminds me of a lip liner I used to have by Lise Watier. Every time I would wear it, it's called Ginger. You guys would ask me, what's on your lips, Natalie? And that's a good sign that it's good. So every time I uh, put on a lip liner, I always go in with a little bit of lip balm. Now I like EOS or EOS, whatever the heck it's called, because it's drying. It really is. It's a drying lip balm. It's not like the greatest for moisture, but it's just enough to give it like that bounce on your lips so that it's not too like crazy when you put on, you know, lip liner that's just like, it doesn't light your, your li you get me. Okay. So this is a lip liner. I love it. It's called Uptight. It's so pretty. I just, I feel like it gives your lips like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. It just looks really pretty. I don't know. I like it. So this is my final look. This is kind of like my glammy everyday look. Like if I just want to oomph it up a little bit, because I literally don't wear makeup if you're on my Snapchat, you know. It's just for special occasions. So that was it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know uh, what other videos you guys would like to see. Oh my God, I just realized I didn't do something. Okay, wow, I missed this whole step. Okay, I've never once used, I've never, oh God, this is just terrible, it's terrible. All right, so the reason my foundation has always gotten on Dennis's shirts and everything else is because I never said it. Why was I never told to set my foundation? So I bought this like cover effects thing. Oh God. Oof. Anyways, I just did my makeup all wrong basically, but I'm just gonna set it on top. Whatever. I'm a rule breaker. But yeah, I never knew you had to use this stuff. Like no wonder my foundation's always going all over the place. All right, so now that was it for this uh, chit-chatty get ready with me update video. If you guys would like to see more, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite makeup products are and if you like this video, and I would be more than happy to do some, maybe even Jupiter chilling in the background. He loves to bite his tail. He's so entertaining. You guys will be more entertained with him than with me, I promise. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the vloggy family. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here and joining me today. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.